So I got another problem. My problem is I'm using all these AI tools to record meetings, etc. And now I have them capturing notes, which is fantastic. But what I'm realizing is capturing the notes is great, which I almost never look back on the actual notes themselves, just based on the fact that I'm so busy with stuff. So what I really want to do is I want to be able to capture the notes, summarize it, give me a summary. And then I wanted to come up with a checklist of all the different items that each individual on that call is supposed to do. And then I would like it to send the uh, task list to each individual. So what I realized is that no tool actually has this capability. What I'm actually trying to do now is try to figure out the best path to get there. So the first thing I want to do in this video is I want to just compare tools. So I'm going to compare in this particular video Read AI versus Supernormal, which is another tool that somebody recommended on this channel for me to experiment with. And frankly, I got to be honest, in the one or two meetings that I've done with it, it's already uh, showing uh, lots of signs and progress. So in this video, we're going to walk through that. So I just want to share that with you. So so this is the, um, oh, I realize I'm a little bit smaller today. So this is the Supernormal dashboard. It's sort of a weird name, but I like the concept that's here. First of all, let me just say one thing about these AI tools. Most of these AI tools are trying to do too much. I just want you to jump into my meeting, capture some notes, maybe record the video as well too, give me the highlights, and give me action items that has to come away from that, meet, from that particular meeting. And then potentially send it to, to me in a way that I could summarize it and get it out to the people on the team that need to work or deal with the problem. That's the goal. That's the only goal. That's the ultimate goal. Um, every single thing else that you add around your tool, I don't really care for. Now, somebody else might, but I don't care for it, okay? I just want to be able, as efficient and as streamlined as possible. All right, that's enough for my ranting. So here's the problem. So um, I, I'm going to give you an example of a real meeting that I did with, a, with an actual company yesterday um trying to get them to do some potential app development for us internally and 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 here i have supernova um super normal it's kind of a weird name isn't it and then read ai okay so let me show you what the read ai tool has done which is fantastic just to be clear read ai has been doing pretty good and just to be clear i'm a pro member in fact i'm an enterprise member on read ai currently at this particular moment so the, the feature comparison won't be as fair because I'm experimenting with a free version of the super normal tool. So this is the meeting, as you know, with Read AI, or if you're not familiar, it gives you sort of a summary. Uh, in this particular case, again, because I'm on a pro or, or enterprise plan, it gives me a highlight, which I actually really like because I could play this. It's like 51 seconds in total, and it sort of skips through each part of the video and just kind of gives you some key highlights that I think is good. This is actually really uh, worth it. It's, it's a really good feature. It allows you to kind of quickly skim through and find areas that are of importance. And it's coming up with this thing called chapters. Over here, you got chapters of the things that was discussed, requirements for Flutter app, proof of concept, UI design, etc. And then we got some action items here. Okay, now here's where it gets interesting. The action items is what I'm looking to expand on. I've used um, uh, Avoma in the past, uh, A-V-O-M-A, which I won't talk about much in this video because it didn't actually record thing, but I do want to mention it because it because it had a better, I'm sorry, A-V-O-M-A meeting. It had a better, um, uh, it definitely had a better to-do list task feature. However, what I found with it is there's just a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of complexity. You can watch my other videos uh, my review on this particular product. It's great. It's good. I'm still on a free plan and uh, I've used up my credit, so I won't go into that in this particular video. However, on the super normal front, which I just signed up for, by the way, so it only pulled in my basic meeting and this was the first meeting that I did yesterday. Let's compare this to Read AI. So first of all, let's just, see, let's just read side by side, okay? Let's just do it side by side. I'll just make it easier for everybody. So Read AI, the summary, the team discussed Flutter app development uh, for the client who wants to explore 
you know, faster, um, explore faster opportunities, whatever. Team proposes small concept capabilities, yada, 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 right? So client is interested. So client, by client, it's me, just to be clear. I am the client. I don't know why they're they're discussing, you know, thinking for the client. So client is um, interested in Flutter development, discussing proof of concept with um, Stanford, really. Uh, baseline design and timeline resources needed for project focusing on UI chatbot functionality purpose job dispatching app okay I, I would say this is a little bit more direct this one here right uh, they discuss um, your experience so the read AI has a better summary okay now interestingly actually let me take that back because they have a summary section and they have a gist section there so Let's see the summary section, some for each summary. The purpose of the meeting is to discuss the possibility of outsourcing Flutter app development. The client is interested in exploring opportunities to move faster with Flutter development. That is very accurate. The purpose of the application is to facilitate uh, job dispatching and completion, uh, um, job dispatching and completion for technicians. Eh, so, so. The current, okay, I won't read ever this entire thing, but what I will say is Cosmo DB. So it's gotten a lot more, this is like a lot more details for a summary. And what I like about it, it's in point format, okay? So by far, this summary wins, no question about it on the super normal front. However, um, this sort of paragraph style is nice, right? But they're, I think they're using that as their gist. Um, and then let's go down to action items. Here's where I've been losing a little bit of faith in Read AI, and I'm thinking that this tool here is just better. The action items, are, what it's given me, is actually a checklist that I can that I can check off, which is pretty cool. Now, in another video, I'm going to talk about how to potentially take this checklist and put it into a, I don't know, a Notion or a Microsoft To Do or something else. We're going to explore that if this tool actually holds up to what it is. However, this has a lot of compelling features to me, right? Because their action item is like, okay, so let's look at the action item in some details. So Paul will provide a timeline for cost estimate, right? For the UI navigation. Great. Uh, this Sean guy will share a Figma link, all right? Um, um, we'll share the Figma link with Paul for UI revision. Yeah, Paul will review the Figma design, blah, blah, blah. blah. Dwayne will send proof of concept to stand for it. Great. Share proof of concept with Sanford. That's my true list. So it obviously knows that it's me, so I don't need to, it doesn't need to say Dwayne Brown will, right? Uh, add Dwayne's contact information properly to ensure clear communication channel. Okay, sure. Mm. Coordinate with Paul uh, and Pari. I don't even know who this person was it gonna call. Uh, proof of concept development and ensure it meets Dwayne's expectation. Review provided proof of concept with run it with run it and provide Dwayne with timelines and costs. Estimate your own Create a proof of concept based on similar data. So I, I I like this better. It it it's a little more clear. Is there there's some things that this has done better, but the problem that I've run into with Read AI is that it 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 does a lot of fluff stuff that I don't necessarily like. It's the best tool. Don't don't get me wrong. They, from a UI standpoint, they've done really well. Now, you know, I like the fact that it kind of gives me some highlights on who's talking, who's not, and just more analytic stuff, because I just kind of like that stuff. But in terms of like raw functionality, raw um, sort of practicality in terms of like what I want out of a meeting, this super normal tool is actually doing a fantastic job. And again, this is the free plan. Now here's what's interesting about it. It has this AI stuff and you could do something like say, um, come up with ideas for the meeting. So it's like, let's see what happens. So it's gonna generate some ideas based on the meeting notes. So develop a functional UI for Flutter app, seamless integration, develop AI chat feature technology. Okay, so let's do some questions, I guess. Again, it's using the AI to review the notes and then add more details on top of that. So what is the timeline for completion? What is the budget allocation? What is the estimated timeline for things? So this is actually really nice, right? Like it's 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 pulling out potential things that we might wanna discuss or talk about in a meeting 
and then just extracting it and, and using read AI to be able to think. So most urgent key takeaway. Dwayne seeks uh, a team to improve UI, blah, blah, blah. Dwayne will send time for the existing concept. Right. So, so I like this. I like this. It's definitely very actionable, very takeaway. And the very next thing is this task. So here, see here? Now, interesting enough, it doesn't have all the, oh, let's see. Oh, uh, okay, that's interesting. So the task is more envisioned. This was a longer meeting that they had. And then this one here, not as many to-do items, which is a little weird because it has a lot more items here. So I'm not certain what deal is there. I don't even know what this means yet. Dwayne Stanford. Okay, that's interesting. So this is an assignment thing. Oh, interesting. So I guess if I do this, I go back here, might show me more stuff. Yeah, there we go. Right, so all the things that it thinks are for me, it'll assign to me kind of deal. So what I really want to do with this, and what's my ultimate goal here? My ultimate goal is to take this and then have it distributed to each person that was on that meeting. And I haven't necessarily figured out how to do that yet, but that is basically where I'm trying to go with this. My only goal in this meeting is to basically say that um, like read AI is not the king on the block, uh, I don't think anymore. Um, I'm still going to explore it. They've, they've added some new functionality that I think has some merit. Now they've added this sort of like daily update. I'll, we'll talk about that in another video. But definitely for sure, I'm going to continue using Super Normal. I'm probably going to end up paying for it because it uh, has the, on a paid plan, I think it has the ability to do the integration with, uh, you know, Zapier or Make or any of the other tools. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my channel about some of that stuff and um, and you'll see what, I'm, what what I mean about integration. But anyway, point is, um, that that's the only thing I want to put into this video. By the way, if you got any value to this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out and helps me with my ego, I guess. I don't know. But uh, yeah, just um, if you got some value, just you know, leave a comment, something. It doesn't really matter. Just say something because it helps me. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for your time and hopefully I've given you some value, but I'm definitely going to be doing some more videos around this super normal. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.